Hello, grade six. Uh, we've got our next issue of Miles Morales. And so in the first issue, it ended with Miles. What, what was he doing? What was weird about him, Alex? He fainted. Did he faint? Yes, he did faint when he got bit by the spider. And then he woke up and his dad was looking for him. And his dad couldn't find him. Why? Because he was invisible. He was invisible. So this may be some weird spider power. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I just got to set this up. Click there, click there, and we'll just scroll down. So I like this about comics because every issue begins with a recap of the last one. Months ago, before the original Spider-Man died, grade schooler Miles Morales was about to start a new chapter in his life in a new school when he is suddenly bitten by a stolen genetically altered spider that gave him incredible arachnid-like powers. I hate when that happens. Huh? feel like like our, our heads are in the way yeah you're all move this way so it's just you guys <laughs> brooklyn new york so here's miles running so i said to the guy you never read the book yet you go online and talk about it as if so they're moving a giant tv ah whoa How did you, oh, how did you do that? You shouldn't be running in the street. What the, hey, whoa. So Miles just disappears. So he jumps over a TV and then he disappears. It was a, a, a mutant, it was. I hate this city, a mutant. And here's Miles somewhere, maybe hiding in this alley. Oh God, oh man, oh God, oh man. This isn't happening, please tell me this isn't happening. How is this happening? And I said to her that her friend was a big fat pig. And what does that have to do with me? So clearly, not a nice guy here. You didn't say anything. Ask her. I'm hungry. Me too. And they pick on Miles. You got anything to eat? What? What? You got something in here? Or an iPad? I could use an iPad. Don't. Let's see what you got, little man. Don't. That's. Hey, hey, hey. Just settle down. You want to get hurt? It's mine. You looking to get hurt? You want to turn it into a thing? I got no zat. Ah! So if we see here, look at these little lines of electricity and, and the word zat. Miles did something here. And he curses. What? Little curse just zapped me. With what? No, I didn't. I was just playing. But you're going to go pull some nasty. And he puts his hand on his chest. Zzz. Whoa, g -g -g what just happened? Get away from me. What the hell? He's a, he's one of those mutants. Oh no. We should call the police. I can't believe I'm seeing a real mutant. I thought they were made up. We should call the police and tell them what? And we switch to Lego. Yay. Thank God you're home. Miles, dude. I need you, Genki. I need your brain. Just let me finish the masthead. I need you to come back to real life and I need you to help me. What's going on? What I'm about to say and show you can never be talked of outside of this room. What happened? I need you to promise me that what I'm about to say and show you will never be talked about outside of this room. I don't know what we're talking about. Promise me. Tell me what we're talking about. Promise me. Dude, have I ever screwed you over? You're like, you're the only person I talk to. Who am I going to tell whatever you're about to say? Okay, I want you to watch this. Okay, prepare to be freaked out like you've never been freaked out before. Please don't take your pants off. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch. Did it happen? Just watch. <laughs> Where am I supposed to be looking at exactly? <laughs> Are you taking a dump? <laughs> I don't understand. 
Hey, uh, did you get into the school? Listen to me. Something happened. I can do things now. Like what? Like, like, that spash. So he blew up his Lego. He put his hand, he did the electric thing on the Lego and he blew it up. I love this picture. How cool is that? <laughs> like Lego being burned. And Genki's like, what? Huh? Why would you do that? <laughs> no, the question is, how did I do it? How did you do that? <laughs> I know, right? Do it to something else. Uh, do it to something that I haven't been working on for three weeks. I think I may be a mutant. Since when? Since today. Today, you turned into a mutant? It was the craziest, freakiest thing in the world. I was with my parents. I went with my parents to the school lottery. I got in. You got in? That's awesome. Maybe we'll get to room. And then I went to my Uncle Aaron's. I went to my uncle's and I got bit by a spider. By a spider? Who gets bit by a spider? It was a huge spider, like a tarantula, like a giant spider, and it had a number on its back. You got bit by a spider? And it bit me right here. Dude, That's there's nothing there. It was gross 10 minutes ago. It's a dot. Are you sure you, it was huge. It's a dot. I freaking passed out. You should go to the hospital. I can't. You can't? They will know I'm a mutant. And you know what happens to mutants in this country. A spider turns you into a mutant? I don't, I need you to believe me. I believe you that something happened. Whoa! Miles just disappeared. Did you know you just did that? That's what I was trying to tell you. Dude, you are a mutant. That is entirely cool. No, it's not. What is a mutant? Um, mutants in this world are like... Uh, a type of superhero and they were kind of created by like bad scientists and no one likes them. Why? They, they're they like, oh, it's unnatural. They don't like them at all. Isn't Medusa? Uh... No, she's an inhuman. Different world. She's not even, inhumans aren't even in this. Oh. It's not cool to give up a sense of a, a normal life. You get to, it's not cool to end up in a military concentration camp or something. They don't put mutants in camps. Yes, they do. That's all like a conspiracy. A mutant drowned this city. You do not get to be a mutant in New York City. Okay, okay. And the, the mutant drowning the city, that's um, like a big event in this comic world called Ultimatum. And Magneto, a mutant, uh, literally drowns the city. He brings the ocean in and like ruins Mag the city. Magneto, I've heard that before. X-Men. Oh. You can't tell anybody about this. Hold on, roll back. A spider bit you? A spider with a number? What number? You can't tell anyone. We have to figure out how your powers work. I don't have powers. Dude, you have powers. And I don't care what you say. This is insanely cool. I'm scared out of my mind. Son, let's go. I didn't even know he was... I didn't even know he was here in our house. Let's go. So his dad finally found him. He's gonna electrocute his dad. <laughs> And they're walking over there. What are we sit down over there? Now his dad is mad because Miles ran away and he was at his uncle Aaron's and he wasn't supposed to be. So they're sitting on this bench. Why did you run away from me? You were freaking me out. Have I ever hit you? No. Then you don't run away from me like I'm some kind of crazy person. You look like you were going to hit uncle Aaron. Well, I might have. I'll give you that. He didn't do anything to me, you know. Why do you go over there? He's my uncle. He's my my family. We really don't have that big of a family. And there's a reason we don't go over to Uncle Aaron's. You never told me why. Why do you think? Because you and him had some sort of fight before I was born. Well, you're half right. We don't go over there because your uncle, though he may seem like a great guy, he's not. I'm not saying this because I'm mad at him. I'm saying this because he is a thief. He's a crook. He's a crook? Like, he steals things? Yes. Oh, good Lord. I did not want to have this conversation with you ever. I knew this day would come, though. I was hoping he'd be in jail by the time you were old enough to understand. Is that why you don't like him? Listen, I love him. Your father would not be here if not for him. 
but at the same time, I can't have a man who doesn't know the difference between right and wrong, and he really doesn't know the difference. I can't have a man like that around my only son. What do you mean? You wouldn't be here if not for him. Actually, I think we should just stop. Look, let's have a look. Like, I kind of like how this is one page, like one drawing with just tons of words. And the way they layer it kind of like, it's like a back and forth conversation. So if you're interested in making comics, this is one way to show like an important conversation on one page. I mean, when we were younger, he saved my life. But that doesn't mean this is very complicated. Has he been to jail? Yes. And so have I. When? When? Before you were born. What did you do? So this is big news for Miles. Like it would be a big deal to find out like your dad went to jail. Or a mom. Or mom, yeah. I stole something that didn't belong to me. You gonna give me any details? This is very hard for me. I I'm telling you my biggest, this is my biggest shame. And I'm telling it to the person that it most shames me to tell it to. You and Uncle Aaron used to steal things together and you stopped and he, pretty much. When we were kids, we didn't have, we didn't see any other opportunity coming our way. I'm not saying that we didn't have other opportunities. I'm just saying we couldn't see them. Once we got older, I could see them. I could see meeting someone like your mother. I could see having a kid just like you. I could see a family. I could see a real life. I could see it. And I knew that I had to do everything I could to make that happen. And it has. You, your mother, your new school, it's all happened. But your uncle never got past that place we were at when we thought it was funny or fun to do things we knew were wrong. I'm not making excuses for myself. I'm telling you that I paid for my mistakes and I've spent every single day of my life trying not to repeat them. There's good and bad in everyone. Anyone can be bad, anyone, it's easy. It's the easiest thing. But to stay focused, to live a good life, it's the hardest thing. Do you understand? And though I love my brother, I do. I can't have him around because there is nothing more important to me in this world than you. There is nothing more important to me than you not having to fight temptation around him. You know what I'm saying? You should have told me about him. How could I have known this? How do I tell a little boy this? Is he going to jail again? Probably. I don't know what he does or who he works with. I just know enough to know that we don't need that in our lives. But what I do see is that you felt that you could go to him to talk, to, to talk about things that were bothering you. And for whatever reason, you didn't think you could come to me. I can't make you want to come to me, but I can tell you, you can. There is nothing in this world that you can't tell me. There's nothing I won't uh, dad. And this is, um, looks like two X-Men, uh, two mutants. So, uh, the ice guy and the fire guy, I forget their names. Wow. You think after all the city has had to deal with, they would round up these mutants and let us live our lives like normal human beings. I don't think the Human Torch is really a mutant. And, and Human Torch isn't a mutant. He's uh, one of the Fantastic Four. <laughs> I just wish they would all leave this city alone. We should get out of here. Your mother is waiting on us anyhow. We will talk about this again. You're a big boy now. You're going to be a man before either of us knows it. So can Miles tell his dad what's going on with him? I don't think so. You don't think so? Oh, that's not his brother. That's his, uh, oh yeah, he told, he didn't tell Uncle Aaron, but he did tell his friend Genki. And his phone buzzes. Bzz. Genki, the awesome. You're not a mutant. You have chameleon-like powers, and some spiders do. You have a venom strike, like some spiders do. What are you talking about, Sir Miles? Spider-Man was bit by a spider, too. Spider-Man myth busted by Ben Urich. That's a, he's a reporter in this world. So he clicks on it. How Spider-Man became Spider-Man by Ben Urich. Though said with levity, Spider-Man told police officers that he was bit by a spider that gave him spider powers. <gasps> Sorry, you're not a mutant, but are you Spider-Man? <laughs> so he's lying in bed. Are you Spider-Man? Picturing Spider-Man, 
Oh, what's he about to do? Uh-oh. Looks at his hand. Hand on the wall. Feet on the wall. Oh, no. And there he is on the ceiling to be continued. And what a cool picture, right? Like the lights going behind him. He's in his very like little kid kind of room. Remember, he is still pretty young. And the shadows like cast by his hands and feet. Very cool. Um, Grade six, I'd like you to put in the comments what you think. Uh, Again, put your predictions. What do you think is going to happen? Who's going to find out? Um, Does Genki remind you of anyone from the Spider-Man movies? If you've watched the, the, not the cartoons, but the live action one with Tom Holland, does Genki remind you of anyone? Okay, so long. There's a wave. So long, so long, so long, so long.